what we do here actually is uh, we're uh, metallurgical engineers and we sell products for grinding and flotation. And, and where do you need to measure the density? Is it in the discharge of the ball mill or also in the circulating loads? For me, I think uh, the real uh, time data needed would be around the cyclone because that's the, uh, the most uh, uh, unstable part of the circuit. Uh, the mill will actually operate pretty much on the same pulp density uh, from time to time. I think uh, you know a couple of adjustments during the day would be enough, but I think the cyclone uh, actually suffers the most uh, variance around uh, pulp density. So um, feed cyclone, I think it's the most important. And of course, then you have the uh, one, you can pick overflow and underflow, and then you do the mass balance. So you can actually uh, mandatory would be the cyclone feed. And then you pick whatever it's most important for you, I think would be overflow. Because overflow, then you, you have the uh, flotation feed information. And then you can calculate back on the mass balance, the, the, uh, the underflow uh, pulp density. So, um, but of course, if, if you have the resources and uh, you install all over the, uh, the grinding circuit, then you, you would have uh, much more data to uh, make a good decision.